Mm -hmm. Could somebody find out what return service requested? Yeah. Now, um, it's possible that it's a kind of uh, registered mail or some sort of... Uh, <laughs> It's one of these mail, uh, as in the United States Post Office. Yes. But I, I noticed that um, when you kept sending these notices, uh, warrants from my arrest. Yes. Um, sending it there mm -hmm, made sure that I didn't get it. Yes. And then when you made sure I didn't get it, it didn't available. It didn't make available to me the mercy of the court. Yeah. Kind of like if I had gotten it right. And I thought to myself, well, there's a warrant for my arrest. <laughs> Maybe I better go down to the sheriff's office, turn myself in, and then tell them I didn't know there was a court hearing. <laughs> now, I did know there was a court hearing, but I didn't know what it was about. <laughs> and since I didn't get notice of the court hearing, I didn't feel a compulsion to require me to have to appear in court. Now, when you intentionally, deliberately obstructed my right to get uh, the warrants for my arrest, Mike Van Proyen, mm -hmm. I'm saying that all the time that I spent in jail was completely unnecessary. Poot. Now, that would involve the Squin Police Department arresting me on September 24th of 2016. Yeah. That would involve the Port Angeles Police Department. Yes. That would involve the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office and the Port Townsend Police Department. Yes. Because... If I had gotten notice, mm -hmm, I would have looked at it, yes. And it would have told me that if you don't turn yourself in, yes, it's worse for you than... Un well, I'm happy that I didn't spend a whole lot of time in the Jefferson County Jail. Mm -hmm. But there's this idea that you don't know when you're going to get out. Yes. I'm happy that it was only 27 days and it wasn't 60 days or 90 days in the Clown County Jail. Mm-hmm. But for every day that I did spend in there, that I didn't want to be in jail, mm -hmm. I'm unhappy about that. Pooch! Now, you can always look on the bright side. It could have been longer. <coughs> or you could realize, yes, that uh, return service requested. Mm -hmm. Intentionally sending warrants for the arrest of somebody to an address where they do not actually respond, that the individual does not live here. Yes. Uh, there is a certain amount of accountability and responsibility on the part of Mike Van Proyen. <laughs> now, I would uh, say, yes, that every day that I spent in jail, yeah, I didn't want to be there. <laughs> I really didn't. <laughs> From the arrest that took place on January 4th of uh, 2016, yes, when I wasn't in Squim, <laughs> yes, to the uh, 27 days I spent in jail for failure to appear, yes, when I didn't. <laughs> I just asked him to, to get a copy of the notice. Oh, Ouch. And then there's the whole idea of the arraignment where there was no proof of service of the actual subpoena because the prosecuting attorney's office felt no compulsion to. Yes. And then when I make a public request, a public records request to the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, there's nothing from me personally about any of this. Now, maybe better fucking understand right now, okay? There is nothing. Mm hmm in the sheriff's file about Paul C. Budnick other than whatever it was that took place in Brennan, Washington. <laughs> now, I'm really thinking that these are big lawsuits. I'm big, big, 